Hello everybody, welcome to the tank review. We will take a look at the Tiger 2 H, also known as Tiger 2 Henschel. As a format of this review, I will take I will uh, talk about parameters of this tank, then I will take a look what the tanks I can face against in the all the tanks in all the tiers and then I will talk about matchmaking and uh, actual combat. Uh, so the Tiger H, the chassis of Tiger H is quite of it compared to other tanks very similar. There are 80 millimeters on the side and 80 millimeters in the rear. The best thing of this tank is the f uh, upper upper glazes. Uh, it's that has 150 millimeters. It's the best you can go against, except the IS3, but. All other tanks are usually around 100. The lower graces is 100. That's also not that bad. The turret is 80, almost everywhere. The gun mantlet is one of the weakest in the ga in this tier, and mostly the biggest weakness of this tank. You can see it's very, it's very, it's very flat. Other tanks have the front area uh, frontal front much bigger. The ring around the gun is 200 so if this if anyone is going to hit it it's going to bounce but the most more important most important armored plate behind it is only 185 and that's not enough for this tier so you need to keep in this in mind. The tanks that I can face on the US side for the light tanks is the M41A1 Walker Bulldog that sits that sits on 6.3 with gun of 76 mm the i in the past i was killed by the by the bulldog from the front but that was uh, rare it can kill you if it hits the optics or you are already disabled and he manages to clear, kill some crew but what his job is to flank you and kill you from the side also usual, the usual strategy is get close to you and keep up with your turning of turret and turning uh, entire tank so you cannot hit him and then put shot after after shot into you uh, it cha it brings new change it brings in change uh, to the game so it's more dynamic it's not just two sides slowly moving towards each other so that's uh, very good that he's here for the mediums it's uh, m4 a3 76 it sits it sits at 5.7 so you're not going to see him that much uh, only if you're matched uh, to the lowest you can be it has gone 76 there's not really any problem with, uh, if you're facing him. You might bounce a couple of shots from the mantlet, but uh, he's not, even the sloped armor on the front is not going to stop your shots. The other tanks that you're going to s mostly see around 80% of the time are the M24 Pershing and M46 Patton. I will combine them, they are very similar. Both have 90mm, there's difference in battle rating because the M46 pattern, the, la the later one, has more ammunition, different types of it. They are very similar to the Tiger with the parameters and uh, combat and some uh, situations they actually perform better than the Tiger 2, definitely in the speed and maneuverability. The biggest problem uh, of that they have, so the some people have problem with the gun mantlet, but there's the optic on the left side, so you need to aim for it and they are not difficult to handle. The biggest problem is that they have two spawns. I will talk about that uh, after these tanks, uh, more in more in more deep. The heavy tanks, first one is M4A3. E2 76 that's at 5.7 uh, this tank has problems but with the lower tiers with facing Tiger H there's not uh, that big problem you can actually penetrate him pretty easily uh, the 
can't meant that there definitely will be problems as with the most of the tanks. The biggest problem comes with the the, uh, the later heavy, that's the T32. It has a 90 millimeter. It's at 7.0. Uh, gun mantlet, you're not going to pen this one. There's uh, actually 30 millimeter, and behind it is another 30 millimeter. The biggest problem that that this tank has, and uh, heavies from uh, maybe tier two or three, is that there's no optic in the gun mantlet. Even it's uh, it's modeled, so don't bother. It's 30 millimeter. It's f 600 millimeters, and you cannot actually do anything about it. It's very hard to kill if he's if his chassis is hidden. The best, the only way that I find out to was to sh shoot at the gun mantlet, little bit lower to the lower half, so the shot bounced and penetrated the top of the chassis and killed his crew. This, but this tactic uh, didn't kill him any uh, any time. It didn't kill the tank in the first shot, because of the number of the crew. And you most likely not going to kill the guys that sit in the back, uh, like the commander. So if you're not able to connect the shots, you will have real problem. If the tank is uh, not hidden, then shooting the chassis, like other tanks, uh, no problem at all. The optics, I don't know why it's not there. Maybe the US changed that or Gaijin forget, but <laughs> this is an uh, issue that maybe some people should look at. The premium ones, M26E1, there's uh, quite a bit uh, problem with this tank. It's, the, it's almost the same as T32. Uh, there are a little bit more variants with the armor, but not that much. Uh, also no optic and the problem is it's a medium so it has two spawns that might be just uh, tactics for selling more of these tanks it but it's kind of balanced with the ammunition that it has it can penetrate you from the front to the uh, to the rear completely uh, with almost from any angle with every shot but it doesn't do any uh, like splash damage no it doesn't have any kind of heat so new players that trying to grind through the US3 uh, will have problems to hitting you or killing you so it will take them multiple shots more experienced players that know where is e where your ammunition and crew is will even from a very far distance be able to one shot you with the M46 Tiger uh, it's M46 pattern uh, with the tiger decal on the front, there's no actual problem with it. For the uh, Russian 3, TE44, 85 millimeter, uh, no problem. Even the two spawns, it's okay. Sits at 6.7, same as the tiger 2 uh, H. X tactics are the same as Walk uh, Bulldog, so outflank you, try to do some damage to. From the further distance, hi shooting the turret is most mostly the best if you cannot uh, hit the chassis or you're going to have, from the distance, you're going to have more bounces from the chassis than from the turret. If he tries to run at you or he tries to charge you, that's mostly the tactics, go around you and then kills you, uh, then shooting straight to the front of the tank to the between the lower and uh, and our top top glazes is uh, possibly the best that i found even the effectiveness the effectiveness of the slope is uh, 200 even more millimeters uh, 100 meters and closer uh, closer i find out that uh, you can one shot them even it's the best part of their armor with the IS-1, uh, not, not much to say, it's the lowest heavy that you are going to meet with 5.7, 85mm. Uh, it, it he's he's, uh, he's most likely should play as a support. If you're going to see him, then you're going to penetrate him 
almost everywhere. Not big issue. The other other one, IS2 and IS2 uh, mod 44. If you look them at the uh, same, same time, there's difference between the uh, sloping of the armor. So I will combine them. What I find out is the with the 122 millimeters. Uh, all what they need is one shot, almost anywhere. Maybe I bounced some shots. I'm not aware of it because it's it. If I bounce, then it's most likely that you bounce or you die. There is no critical. If they sometimes they miss, so there might be critical on the track or something like that. But uh, angle really doesn't matter. It might be because this shell is so big and it's explosive that it needs to just touch you and the explosion is enough to kill you. But it's a uh, quite nice balance with the fact that uh, IS-2 has pretty lot of weak spots. So there's not that big problem. It changes a little bit the strategy to approach this tank but that's a battlefield so it makes it my much more enjoyable. IS-3. First encounter with IS-3 I don't think you will be able to kill it. I think you're going to die even a couple of more times afterwards. It sits at 7.0. I met him uh, maybe 35 to 50 percent of the time so it's quite of often after some time and early battles I really didn't him. The strategy for him, if you look at him like this, then the weak spot is in the middle between the turret ring and the chassis. It's a quite of it looks like triangle. There's usually one hit, one kill. Uh, other weak spot is the top of the turret. If you have a little bit more if you're a little bit higher than he is, then the top of the turret is the best uh, best way to kill him. You really don't need that much of angle. Uh, of course, if you find yourself in position when his sloped armor is not sloped, then obviously that's the choice. Most difficult that I find out is to hit actually his ammo because if the IS-3 is not taking is not taking a uh, full loadout or maybe he already spent his ammo then the ammo is kind of scattered so you're not going to be that easy to hit so most reliable is to hit him to the engine where the fuel tank and the engine itself it is after you shoot him then uh, the x-ray that you gain from it should tell you where the ammo is and then uh, aim at it Definitely do not exchange shots with him. If he starts turning your turret at you, then leave and do not stay there. Uh, for the tank destroyers on the Russian side with the SU-100 and SU-122, there it's a glass cannon. It's almost glass cannon as the tiger. If he can hit you first, then you're most likely going to die. If you're going to hit him, then he's going to die. You should uh, focus his uh, right side. If you're looking at him, it's the right side where the where the where the viewports are. The entire right side is a uh, it's a death trap for them. You just need to hit it, and they are gone. I don't think they survived uh, any more encounters with me if I uh, am dead there. That would be for the tanks. Uh, the matchmaking, what's the worst you cannot have is not the tanks you're going to face like bunch of IS-3 or so, it's the fact that when your team is c consists of heavy tanks uh, in mostly in maybe two out of five games it's going to be that way that your team has f f combined 15 lives why the enemy team can have up to 30. That happened to me quite of often, uh, with the, especially with the team being full of US, US players that just return back, so you will encounter this situation and even those tanks can be killed. Killing them 30 times is um, 
not that not that possible especially in this game this game was 11 kills for me and till uh, we lost actually I lost from this point I was uh, no, a little bit later I was alone already and they kept I just didn't keep up with the <laughs> supply <laughs> that they, they provide us <laughs> the way how am I using this tank is to stay hidden always stay hidden always keep your retreat path some uh, sort of retreat path do not expose your tank if you, c if you don't need to do not exchange shots and do not stay uh, uh, on open ground or exposed while reloading and also remember that maybe this is uh, like the issue of the new reward system 11, this 11 kill game loss was worth two up to three kills win so always stay always support your team don't try to steal your kills you really don't need them uh, difference between stock tank and uh, full upgraded at the beginning i was constantly on the fire uh, with full upgrades this never this was this was never issue usually when i catch on fire it was in the situation that i would die anyway so you need to keep that in mind that with every each upgrade it's going to get better and the usual problems with uh, early grinding th that your gun barrel got destroyed and that's the game over for you that's that goes for the all the tanks you need to really get you need to get over it when you master this tank i'm usually ending my games with five more kills just due to following the rules that i mentioned early the most important is never rush enemy always encounter them on your own turns you, uh, you if you keep the path open then you can always re retreat a little bit and when you know the situation is uh, kind of getting lost then maybe connect with your uh, living allies or try to find advantages advantageous position to score some kills it usually comes to it that new players in the team going to die fast and you need to be really cautious when you can learn that you will have very great time with this tank if i forget something then i will most likely uh, create now maybe video with follow-up or I will update this video it's my first review so I will most likely uh, forget something so I thank you for watching and I will see you very soon goodbye